Are you someone who lives currently with osteoporosis or know someone who does? Well, you've come to the right video. We will first start by discussing healthy bone composition, how osteoporosis develops, how it is diagnosed, and finally some treatment options. Osteoporosis is a common disease that directly affects the bones. In Canada, the occurrence of osteoporotic fractures is greater than that of heart attacks, strokes, and breast cancer combined. In fact, osteoporotic fractures occur once every three seconds worldwide. So let us begin by talking about healthy bone composition. Here is a drawing of the bones in the human arm. Our bone tissue is composed of three main components, inorganic matter, organic matter, and water. Primarily, the two main cells that are part of the organic matter are called osteoblasts and the osteoclasts. Osteoblasts are known as bone forming cells, while osteoclasts are known as bone resorption cells. In an average healthy human, bone mass and hormone levels are normal thanks to a hormone called estrogen, which sufficiently signals osteoblasts to embed in the bone and produce phosphate, calcium, collagen, and proteins, all of which are necessary for healthy bone formation. On the other hand, the parathyroid hormone regulates osteoclasts, which break down the bone matrix releasing calcium and phosphates into the bloodstream. In healthy individuals, the osteoblast activity is in equilibrium with osteoclast activity. Now let's move on to talk about how osteoporosis develops. For individuals with osteoporosis, osteoblast activity decreases while osteoclast activity remains the same. Remember how we talked about the hormone called estrogen? The same hormone is also essential in controlling energy metabolism and regulation so having lower than normal hormone levels can directly affect these functions. This also means that low hormone levels can shift the balance in favor of bone resorption, leading to more brittle bones. Since the bones are so fragile, they can easily break under pressure. This is typically more prevalent in older aged adults. Now, let us discuss how osteoporosis is diagnosed. Unfortunately, there are no symptoms to osteoporosis. The only form of diagnosis is through a bone density scan or DEXA conducted by a certified physician. This form of technology is an enhanced version of an x-ray used to measure bone loss. In older populations, fractures in the hip or the vertebrae make it painful to move and this leads to immobility. As a result, this can lead to hospitalization and secondary problems such as cardiac complications, urinary tract infections, or pneumonia. Luckily, there are some treatment options to prevent those problems from happening. Current treatments for osteoporosis include bisphosphonates in combination with calcium and vitamin D supplements. However, adherence to this medication is low because they are presented with many side effects, including severe nausea and kidney damage. Most patients stop the medication due to these undesirable side effects. Some alternative management strategies for these patients include exercise to increase bone mass and muscle mass. Clinical practice guidelines have compiled several review articles suggesting patients with osteoporosis engage in a multi-component exercise program that includes resistance training in combination with balance training. Resistance training exercises are any type of exercise in which the bones must support the weight of the body against gravity. This includes the use of resistance bands, free weights, or body weight. On the other hand, balance training includes balancing on one foot for two seconds or using an exercise ball. It is strongly recommended that these individuals, especially those with vertebral fractures, do not engage in aerobic training. In addition, resistance training machines are not recommended since this requires forward bending and twisting of the spine to perform the exercise. Forward bending and twisting may add excess pressure, causing additional fractures. Therefore, slow and controlled movements are recommended. However, we urge you to please consult a physician before attempting any form of resistance or balance training exercises. For more information, please visit www.osteoporosis.ca.